Colleen Rebel Stitcher and her handsome sidekick Albus. Um, this is floss tube number 40. Um, I guess that means I'm getting close to a year of doing these crazy videos. So thank you everybody who has stuck al along with me for the ride on the crazy stitching train and um, all y the new subscribers that have been stumbling upon us recently. So welcome to everybody and thank you for watching. Um, this episode I've got some stitching, um, some finishes, some whips, some new starts. Um, let's see, um, a giveaway which I'll do towards the end. Um, some announcements, some stitchy kindness. So it'll be a fun episode, a uh, fair amount of content this time. So um, thank you very much and uh, let's move on to stitching. So um, no, 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 no. I'm gonna do finishes first. Um, my first finish was the piece I stitched with my girl Jody from Steel City Stitchers. Um, we had our little um, sow I talked about last episode that we like to do together. Uh, this is the second one we have done. And um, here it is. It's from Ink Circles, the uh, queen that was. Jody dyed this amazing fabric for us. We both have a piece of Jody Ada here that we stitched it on. Um, I am in love with that gold tooth. We both started this the same day and finished it the same day. It wasn't like that was our goal. It's just the way it worked out. And um, I have to FFO it. Jody's, of course, I've already FFO'd hers. And I'm talking about Jody from Steel City Stitchers, if I didn't say that. Um, so this is completed. This was my first FFO of 2020. Not FFO. First finish of 2021. I'm getting ahead of myself there. Um, you okay? You want to get down? No? Okay. Um, so I'm super thrilled with how that came out, and it was really fun to do. And if you guys want to do an ink circles but don't want to do one of the real big ink circles, this is a good one to get your feet, dip your toes in. My next finish, see, I've not one but two this week, is from the hashtag mythical creature cell. This chart is from Plum Street Samplers, uh, the Bigfoot Bunch. This was an exclusive chart from Linens and no Linen and Threads out of Australia. Um, they have this one and a Yeti. So, da da da! Here he is. Look at that. So this is on, I believe, 18 count Ada. It's Fortnite fabric. I don't remember the color of the fabric. Um, this was super fun to stitch. However, I don't know what I did, but somehow I got off in counting. And then the chart merely became a suggestion. And luckily, I'm the queen of fudging. So um, it wasn't an issue for me. I'm going to pass this off to Jan to finish it into a little pillow. Um, and then... Um, also going to stitch the second one which is a snow yeti and I'm gonna have that in a little pillow too um, this was super super fun there are little um, little like small little flower petals that are scattered throughout that I didn't put on and I also if you could tell I gave them a bigger belly than what the chart called for I just felt like if he was wooly and furry and living in the woods, he'd have like a big belly. So I gave him a bit of a pop belly there, um, which I think is super cute. So there was some over one stitching on 18 count Ada, which is not fun. Um, but I went to Keepsakes and Stephanie 
was there and she gave me some expertise and some moral support and we got it done and I'm really happy with it. I think it's super cute and um, can't wait to stitch the next one. So that's two finishes in 2021. So I am cruising. Okay, so that's all the finishes I have for this week. But I do have whips. The next whip is from Stone Street Samplers. It's a Susan B. Anthony sampler. I am stitching this with two of my keepsakes friends, Liz and Lynn, and we're all putting our own spin on it. And this is as far as I have gotten. Um, think why best thou. I carried this border across a little more and I put some more letters in. It's nothing that exciting to look at. This fabric is by Xju. It's 18 count jack-o'-lantern. And I love this fabric for this piece. It's pretty amazing. It's really kind of rough in the sense of it's not like totally uniform like a typical Ada is, but I think it works great for this piece. So I'm still plugging along on that. And so that's it for um, whips and finishes. I did have a new start. I started on January 6th. Um, I planned on starting it as a celebration of the Georgia elections and the Democrats taking control of the Senate. Well, only taking control if um, Kamala is the tiebreaker, but you know what I mean. So what I was going to stitch this, I've had this piece and just have not been able to contain myself. So I was going to stitch Harriet Tubman by the Primitive Hair in honor of Stacey Abrams and all the work she did to make sure that happened. Those, the voter turnout in Georgia. And this is as far as I'd gotten. Now, unfortunately, what was supposed to be a celebratory stitch, I ended up stitching this in horror as I was watching the news of those seditious, riotous, traitorous people storm violently storming the Capitol. So we didn't even get to celebrate for like 24 hours, Warnock and Ossoff winning. Um, but this is as far as I've gotten. I got the circle and I'm starting to work up some of the dark colors. This is the portrait portion of Harriet Tubman. So I haven't gone back to this since January 6th, but I will. And I cannot wait to complete this piece. And this is going to be a series of women in history. And I can't wait to see who else. I mean, hello, that's just, you know that's got me right up my alley. So I can't wait to see who else they, um, they depict in it. So that was my whip and my new starts and my finishes. So that's all of the stitching of this portion. Hey baby, I'm going to put you down. Okay. I'm going to say goodbye to the people. Say goodbye to the people. Bye people. I'm so handsome. Okay. I need my lap for this one. Okay, so on to wit, uh, haul and stitchy kindness. So the other day, my pal and bag maker extraordinaire made a hand delivered, um, well, I guess made hand delivered a bag to me. And this was a present from my friend. You all probably know her as Flostitute, uh, my friend Susie. Just through happenstance, I uh, we became friends online, and it has been a great little um, friendship that we have uh, developed. Um, we have lots of sows that we plan on doing together. We share, like, almost share a birthday. She has two Frenchies. I have two Frenchies. You know, it's like, it's like my... Um, my long lost twin, you know, so she had Lynn, she 
uh, reached out to Lynn and had her make a project bag for me that she thought I would like that I could use for all of our sales we have planned together. Look at this. How sweet is this? Bigfoot in his boxers. And she especially wanted this to say Bigfoot, Big Heart because she said, I have a big heart. And she really shouldn't make fun of me. That's a medical condition. I have an enlarged heart. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> She's just being really sweet. So thank you, Susie. This is so sweet. I can't put it, I can't wait to get it and put it to use with all of our sales that we have that we're scheming for this year. Um, so thank you officially and publicly. Um, one more thing, this I guess would technically be considered haul, that would be Stitchy Kindness, is I'm totally copied off of Rolodex. She showed a bag that she reached out to somebody that um, made a bag for her. Now, um, Lynn Dorney is my go-to project bag person. This, I needed a bag to hold my project bags. I needed a bigger bag to put my other bags inside, and once I show you, you'll get what I'm saying. Um, Rolodex had showed this bag and my mouth dropped open and I was like, oh my God, I need, I need to get me some of that. And I reached out to her and I, we'd known each other from some needle minders and just, you know, on the periphery of Instagram sort of a thing. And I was like, look, I need a bag like that. But I use, and I measured my typical size of project bags. I want to be able to fit a lot of project bags in this bag so I could take it all and put it in one spot and, um, you know, and just put, put my crap in it. And so I picked out some fabric and the rest is magic. Are you ready for this? Get yourself ready. Bump, bump. Oh, you see a hint of it. Bum, 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 bum. Look, I gotta back up to get the whole thing in. Look at this. It is, uh, now I picked out the fabric, so it's got an amazing zipper. Let me try, I've got the zipper. I've got it unzipped. I mean, the craftsmanship is just unbelievable. So here's the inside. It's gusseted. Has a really high quality zipper. Let me see if I can angle this. It's got a Baby Yoda zipper pull. It's kind of hard to see there, but there he is. Amazing Frenchy fabric. This green is like my green. I love chartreuse green. So who is this amazing bag maker, you ask? Jasmine Ravenclaw. Let's see if I can get that to focus. On Instagram is her name. Um, yes. Well, Genevieve is her real name, but Jasmine Ravenclaw. So not only is this person awesome, but she's also a Ravenclaw like me. So, you know, you're also awesome. Um, so, yeah, find her on Instagram like Jasmine, like the flower or the chick from Aladdin, Ravenclaw, all one word. And she can literally make, ma this is so well made, look at this. And the inside she said was like a waterproof vinyl. So if I'm a hot mess that I always am, and like a water bottle spills or something, there's pockets inside. I could put my cell phone or something in here. I mean, this is like, like a designer bag. It's unbelievable. But, um, here it is, see? And then I could just put all my project bags, un momento, right inside. See that? Amazing! If we ever get to go to retreats and stuff again, that will be the perfect bag for it. So, thank you. Thank you, Genevieve. That bag is perfection. And um, if anybody needs a bag, um, hit her up. I cannot. I, I, I just can't. She's just amazing. Um, I do have a little bit of needle minder news. I don't have anything new in the shop or anything, but um, 
my friend who I spoke to before, Lynn Dorney, she her Instagram business Instagram page is Lynn X Stitches Creates. And she is creating a quarterly mystery project bag sell, not sell, project bag club. Um, it's the size to a project bag that would fit an 11 by 11 Q-snap, their vinyl front, and she's designing their limited quantities. You have to sign up. February 1st is a sign up day um, where it goes live where you can sign up. And she's going to have lots of goodies um, in the bag. So you're not just getting the bag. Um, the first one is... She's going to have a needle minder by, that I don't carry in my shop, but coordinates with the fabric of the bag from yours truly, Rebel Stitcher Designs, and also an exclusive pattern by My Studio Creates, um, MI Studio Creates. Um, she's a designer who's friends with Steel City Stitchers that did those awesome gnome um, charts for each of them. Uh, uh, Brooke, super, super sweet and talented. Um, so if any of you are interested, I wanted to give you a heads up to mark your calendars, put an alert in your phone for February 1st, because um, we know Lynn, I think, finally finished stitching all those RBG bags. Um, the Cross Stitch World went crazy with that. So if that's any indication, you're going to want to get in on this. Um, Anyway, I think that's it for me. Uh, this isn't as long of a video as I thought it might be because all that stitching. Um, I'm going to keep working my sows, keep working my whips, and um, I am loving stitching so far this year. I'm getting a lot done, and I'm excited, and I hope you guys do too, and I will see you next week. Thank you. Duh, I ended the video and I forgot to do um, bring up the giveaway that I was going to do this episode. So I guess those of you that wait to the very end will be rewarded. Um, I was going through my stash and I found a piece of 14 count Ada. A really nice piece, but I don't stitch on 14 count Ada anymore. So I figured I would pass it along. So it this is, I think, by Hand Dyed Happiness. It's this nice it's a good size 17 by 26 never open never been used and it's like a sky blue so if you guys would like to try to win um this piece of ada comment below with and use the word sky s-k-y so um if you would like a nice size piece of 14 count ada Drop in the comments below and use the word sky and I will draw for it next week and uh, pick a winner. So again, thanks for watching and I will see you next week. Thank you. Bye.